what's up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city 4 here bringing you guys more man 15 ultimate team and also welcome to the off season of season 4 today we're going to be talking about the defense of season 4 you know who's going to be replaced who's going to be here for a tryout and who's going to be here to develop the defense even better and also before we get into more details guys about my future defensive pickups go back one video in order for you to see the offensive future pickups because that video is going to pretty much you know excite you for season 5 because we're going to be picking up troy aikman that's it's going to be a major pickup. I mean, he's going for 50 G's and that will be worth it because he's 95 overall. And also he has the, the skills to be in my offense. You know, it runs with my scheme. So I can't wait to pick up Troy Aikman. So go back one video in order for you to know what's going to go down the offensive side. Anyways, on defense, guys, even though this year was pretty much the year of the defense where we dominated like around six teams and uh, we ended up sending down six teams in a row. And, um, you know, the Super Bowl pretty much showed how the defense was so prepared that, uh, you know, it was just like it was it. Like, that's the final team? No. To this day, I still do not believe that that's the final team. I believe that Micah Hyde can still go away. Some of the defensive linemen can still go away. And also, the most requested, Brandon Browner, will still go away? No. That guy will actually still be here on my defense. And let me tell you guys why. So let me go into my lineup so I can tell you guys why Brandon Browner will still be here for season five and also i'll be doing like a little bit of a ceremony who's going to be winning the mvp of season four so stay tuned for that i'll be doing like a little highlight clip or some kind of a award show so i'm trying to do more stuff here for you guys for ultimate team so you guys can be more entertained and see how different you know stuff is around here so because i'm not like a robot you know i don't go out there and praise myself you know i'll tell you guys what's up so anyways Brandon Browner, why is he good? Why is he going to stay into Season 5? And uh, why aren't you selling him or find a better version of him? Actually, there's not a better version of Brandon Browner. That's it, because he hasn't done any good in real life. So, it's sad, man. I, w I wish there was a football outsider for Brandon Browner or for the classic Brandon Browner for the Seahawks. That would be awesome to get. I would totally get Brandon Browner. He's, if there's, there was like a Seahawk version of him. Um, anyways, the reason why Brandon Browner will stay, he's six foot four. Somebody, some of you guys mentioned that he's six foot two. No, he's six foot four, man. He's fucking tall. He's like a receiver size. That's kind of insane. And um, also, he has 91 zone coverage, which means he's gonna stay out there pretty much well. So I do play a lot of zone coverage on defense. I mostly do not run man defense because I know my receivers can easily be. I mean, my cornerbacks can easily be, be beat. So that's why I never run man coverage because I know that I have Brandon Browner back there. So that's why I don't run man coverage for now. Uh, Antonio Cromartie though, uh, that guy will actually be replaced as you can see. He has 81 zone coverage which pretty much doesn't run with my defense. I just noticed that like a week ago, like maybe like around in game number 7, that's where I noticed that Antonio Cromartie has 71 zone coverage and guess how long I have this guy for. I had him since season 2 and I barely found out he has that low of a zone coverage. So kind of incredible right there. So. Uh, Antonio Cromartie will be replaced soon. Um, I don't know who, but uh, been being requested by uh, several of you guys that I should sign DRC. The problem with DRC is that he costs way too much. And let me show you guys why I will not buy DRC. Or I'll maybe buy somebody else though. Charles Tillman is in my is in my mind right now because he's six foot two and he does have a lot of zone coverage. But the problem is that on the side that Antonio Cromartie is at, that side is where most of the speedy receivers are at. So that's why I'm thinking about it. So anyways, let's go into the cornerback position to see who should assign for my future cornerback. Who's going to replace Antonio Cromarty? There's a DRC right there already. We can already see one. So where is he? There he is. Dominic Rogers Cromarty. This is the one that I really want to pick up. He's 90 overall. He's six foot two. Has tons of speed. Has tons of zone coverage. 88 zone coverage, not that much, but still, he can still keep up with my zone defense. So. Um, this will be one of my targets. The problem is that he does cost too much. So this is one way to get him, guys. If I do get over 500,000 coins on the on the big, large quick sell, I'll buy this guy. He will be one of my main targets, and this guy will be going off the list first because the cornerback position is very important. And also, people are going to have Calvin Johnson. They're going to have Michael Irving going on over there. They're going to have uh, Deshaun Jackson and shit. This guy is very important. If I get over 500,000 coins because I'm not going to fucking deal with the Sean Jackson's ass anytime soon. I don't want him, alright? I don't want to go up against him and fucking be burned all time against Antonio Cromartie. Another target will be, uh, let me see if I can go over 85 through 89. 
you're gonna be able to see some of the cheapest cards over here for thirteen thousand fourteen thousands i might actually buy charles tillman but only to replace uh, ike taylor i do run four cornerbacks at a time on, out of the four six i go four six speed so uh charles tillman might actually end up in my team but i will not do a video for him maybe i do maybe i would but it just depends on the situation so charles tillman uh, might end up with my team pretty soon because I really want to raise up uh, some of the awareness of my players. Um, I don't like to be running around with 85 and lower uh, overalls right now because it's kind of dangerous to do that because they don't have enough awareness or some shit. Uh, and also play recognition on defense. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the only guy I'm, I'm targeting. And I, I know this guy looks pretty good, but the problem is that he's short. I don't want anybody under six feet. Nobody. It has to be six feet and higher. So. So far, DRC is doing pretty good, and and also Charles Tillman, who's six foot two, as you can see. But the problem is he's not that fast. That's why I won't I won't start him. And the side that Antonio Cromartie is at, all the speeds the receivers are on his side. So Patrick Peterson is another option, as you can see. He is six foot one. He does have enough zone coverage and speed and everything. So this is another target right here. He might actually be Plan B. My Plan A is get DRC for the number one cornerback position and if I, you can afford him we'll buy Patrick Peterson so Patrick Peterson might end up in season five just depending when maybe like half of the season though I'm telling you most of these, these uh, defensive pickers will come up like half of the season not in the beginning because I really want to upgrade my offense this offseason last offseason I upgraded my offense again <laughs> midseason then I upgraded my defense so it was kind of weird uh, last season, but um, this year I'm, I'm getting more of a planning team scheme going on. So back on defense. So we already talked about the cornerbacks, the defensive ends, the Montre Moore and Marcel Darius. Those, these two guys are going to actually get replaced pretty soon. And um, the Montre Moore, we are planning to pick up the defensive end from the Miami Dolphins. I think you guys already know who it is. Uh, Cameron Wake. He will be one of the best pickups so far this season because um, this guy's going to go, man. Either him or um, Long, I believe. Chris Long. Oh, this guy's already going cheaper. Well, I don't need him. I don't really want uh, Bennett. I really want anybody to go over 90 over already. I don't want anybody over uh, under 90. Because then, then that will be a steal because for me, like, they're going to steal coins for me because you're just buying, like, two overalls higher and it could be the same shit, so... Watch out with that, guys. Watch out. Then I'll be spending coins on like, like two overalls higher than, than your regular player that you have. So my main target on my defensive end position has to be Cameron Wake. The guy is pretty fast. He has 96 finesse move. This guy will be untouchable. He's just going to fucking blitz in there. But the problem is that he's not a run stopper. Well, he is, he does have the skill, though. He does have the skill. It's just that he won't push the, defense, the, the, the tackle back, which means he will not disrupt those slams, those counters. He will not disrupt them. So I need a strong guy who can push the defensive end back. So this is plan plan, uh, plan A. This is plan B. Cameron Wake is plan B. Plan A will be Justin Smith, the, the throwback Justin Smith right here from the Cincinnati Bengals. He might not be fast, but this guy will push back. As you can see, 95 strength, 94 block shedding, 97 power moves. This guy is made for my defensive style i'm not gonna let anybody run th towards the outside never never i learned my um uh, my lesson last year that I, I had like fast defensive events and there was this one team that i faced that had ground and pound like all the way 99 overall and shit and he would just counter he would just slams fucking runs it all the way i'm like that's it. I'm just going to sign strong ass guys so on the outside so they won't run towards the outside. I want people to run down the middle so they can face Luke Kuechly and Luke Kuechly can force a fumble. That's my plan on defense. So now you know a little bit of my scheme that I'm making people do. Like, I want them to run down the middle so they can face Luke Kuechly who has like around 96 hit power and shit. So I want to force fumbles. That's my scheme. I want to have heavy hitters. I want to have strong guys because I want them to force fumbles and shit. I don't want to deal with play action and rollouts and fucking uh, post routes. So, yeah. So, anyways, Justin Smith is being targeted. Also, JJ Watt, but he costs way too much. So, yeah, we're just going to pick up J Justin Smith. 100 coins. Hopefully, on the, on the large quick, so I do have a lot of coins. That's going to be one of the biggest videos on the offseason of season four because. I really hope for a lot of coins. I really, really, I really want to upgrade. I don't want no bullshit. I don't want to loss this year. I want to go undefeated, like season two. Season two, I went 
11 and 0. <laughs> that was a tremendous season. And I didn't have this uh, these te this team, you know. This team is a lot better. So we're going to talk about the Montreal Moore. Marcel Darius is going to be replaced either by an 88 overall defensive tackle or by a 90. Just depending on the situation though. Depending if I have a few coins left after the large quick sell. I'll buy uh, Sa, Namdaka Sa, whatever his name is. <laughs> I am willing to buy a 90 overall, but the problem is they all cost over 100,000. So I might wait a little bit more like throughout the weeks to see if Marcel Darius goes down in price because he does cost a lot. Also, Joe, Joe McCoy. These two guys will be beasts in my defense if I have them. It will be too beast. It will be too legal to have them both of them in there. It should be illegal. <laughs> it will be too OP. So there's uh, some of the people already here, like in Vince Wolfork. I can probably get him already and replace Marcel Darius, but I like Marcel Darius better. The Starks is too, Marks is too weak. Um, Haloti Nada is already going for twenty thousand. You guys might want. I recommend to get him. If you guys saw the Super Bowl. Get Haloti Nada right now. Don't say no. Don't even nod your head no. Go get him. I don't fucking... I, I don't want you here to say no. Go get Haloti Nada. If you guys saw the Super Bowl, go get Haloti Nada. Uh, Vince Wilfork, short. Actually, short is pretty good. He's actually uh, very disrupted. He does have a lot of strength, a lot of block shedding, a lot of power moves. So this guy is worth having there in the middle. Sa, so, even though he's a quite a little bit of a weak one, on block shedding, he still has strength. He does. He does have power moves, so he's gonna push those DTs back, like so they can stop him, like right there and then. He's gonna, he's gonna read him, man. That's all I'm gonna say. He's gonna be doing good. So these two, uh, Su or Short, are gonna be my targets for the DTs. These two guys might actually start mid-season. I promise you that these two guys will be in the same, same, uh, in the same defense at some point. It's gonna be too, too OP, man. So that's it, guys. Oh, wait. I forgot one guy. I will actually sign in a linebacker, guys. It's going to be a linebacker sign-up at some point pretty soon. Because this one's really, really important. Let me tell you guys why. Levante David did pretty good this season. It's just that um, he does have trouble reading the, the, the runs most of the time. Like He just actually just goes inside the defense. Like He goes inside. He doesn't stay outside and contain like Terrell Suggs and, and Luke Keekly, he just goes directly to the running back. The problem with that is that you got to have Levante David on the line in order for you to make him work. If you have him on top of the defensive end, he's just going to go like behind the defensive end. It's going to go towards the inside shoulder and it's going to get blocked. That's why I want to change him. So this could be another big sign up right here. There. Either, uh, not Trent Cole. That's, this is the wrong side, by the way. Is it? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Actually, this is the right side. Um, Lance Briggs, I could have bought him, but I wasted all my coins on Pro Packs. So, um, yeah, this guy would have ended up earlier in our team if I wouldn't have brought those Pro Packs that I'm about to show you in another video. I forgot that <laughs> this video is being done after about the Pro Packs. But anyways, yeah, this guy would have been beast to have. As you can see, he does have a lot of speed. And um, another thing that I like about this guy is the play recognition, kind of. Let me see, where is it? Yep, the play recognition 95. This guy's gonna read those runs, man. Another thing he has is the hit power. He's okay on hit power 90. He's gonna be forcing fumbles, man. Just, that, if you have a Jamal Charles, this guy's gonna pop him real bad. So uh, Lance Briggs and Clay Matthews are, are uh, the two options for the outside linebacker. Clay Matthews is also pretty good. As you can see, he does have more zone coverage, 6 foot 3. And another thing that I love about this Clay Matthews is that he has a lot of. A fucking hit power. Look at that. Just look at that and fucking drool. <laughs> 96 hit power. Damn, man. That's it. He fits perfectly on my scheme. Also, Lance Briggs. Lance Briggs, he's a smart one. Clay Matthews, he's the fucking powerful one. It'll be awesome if I can have both of them. Well, that's it, guys. That's the longest videos I've done for the best defensive pickups. Damn. But it's very important to pick up these players because I want my defense to be better. So that's it. Those are my targets, guys. And also, there's going to be our new rising star in our team. And I will not say who. Most of you guys already know who it is anyways. So there's going to be a new rising star coming in. And I'll make a video about it. So um, I can already afford him, by the way. I have 13,000 coins. So um, stay tuned for that one tomorrow. And um, hopefully that player will do good in my team. For sure. It's going to be dominating defense also this season, hopefully. Season 5 is just going to be defense again uh, for sure i have a feeling it is again <laughs> so uh, 
Go back into my video, guys. If you guys really enjoy season four, you want to see it all again, make sure you go back into my videos and watch every single one of them so you guys can see how I progressed throughout the way and uh, who I lost to and who I won to. So, um, so that's it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Madden 15.